Hey, what is going on YouTube? In today's video, we're going to take a look at setting up a custom dashboard. In this dashboard, we want to monitor two alerts or two events, one of them being a failed login using uh, a certain username that we specify. And then we also want to take a look at monitoring whenever Windows Defender uh, detects a software that is potentially vulnerable to the operating system. So we are going to set that all up. And at the end of that, we want to set up a Slack integration. So anytime we get a specific alert, alert or any number of alerts, we're going to send that to Slack and notifying myself and the team that we have a vulnerability. Let's get a look at it and see what's going on. All right. So for the first part of this video, we are going to set up that custom dashboard. To do so, go to the drop down menu, select dashboard, create new dashboard. In here, we want to select data table. We're going to select the alerts. And this is where we will set up our first um, object to go on that dashboard. So actually, before we do this, so we know what to filter for. So more specifically, we want to filter for a failed login using the admin user so just to get an idea exactly what we need to set up for the filter let's go into our agent go into security events and let's find one of those events i had done this previously so it shouldn't be hard to find so the event was pretty far back so we'll just go ahead and generate it ourselves so let's get a failed login we had a few of those going head back over to the security platform Let's refresh this page. And as you can see, we have rule ID 60122, unknown user or bad password. And then if we go down to find, so these are going to be the two parts of the information that we want it to take note of. So we want to keep note of this. And then we want to keep note of the ID, rule ID. All right, so let's head back over to the dashboard. And then in here, we're going to go to add filter. And then let's go ahead and we are going to specify rule.id and then specify the rule. So the filter is going to be rule.id, the operator is going to be is or equals, and then 60122. We're going to save that. And we have three that showed up in the last 24 hours. Uh, to be more specific, we want to make sure that we just get the admin logins because we don't care if they're maybe breaking into a regular user. Obviously, this is all situational dependent, um, but for the purpose of this lab, that is what we are going to do. All right, so here's the field for the target username. Again, we're going to select is, and then the value should be admin. Click uh, save. And this time, now if we logged in, so let's just to provide an example, if we go back to here, if we logged in and it failed, it would give us a an alert or it update that count. And if we use a different username other than admin, it obviously would not update. So that's good there. And then one, one other thing that we could go ahead and do is we are going to change the name of count and we'll just say user and then we'll go ahead and save that. So here's our, our object that we had just created. So we have user logon fail, which we just put as the title. And then more specifically, it is for the Windows admin. And currently we have three events that had popped up. So that is good to know. For the next part, we are going to set up uh, alerts for the Windows Defender platform. So anytime it detects a vulnerability based on any installs or software or downloading of software, it will pop an alert and then we could capture that in here. 
and then later on we'll be able to send it out in a slack notification so we could get notified as soon as this happens so the first thing that we are going to have to do because by default this platform does not monitor those alerts or those events within the windows platform so we have to edit a few things so the first thing that you are going to want to do is log into your server and then once you are on that server, you are going to want to edit the centralized or the agent configuration for the centralized configuration. So anytime you edit this one within this group, which will be default, once you um, update it, it will get pushed out to the clients that are within that group. And in this case, it would be the Windows. So let's go ahead and edit that now. All right, so you're going to go to the agent.conf agent inside of this directory here. And once you are there, you are going to save this information here, local file. Here's the location of the event logs within Windows, which you could find in Microsoft documentation or even on the Slack or the uh, Waza or Wazoo website. From there, the log format is event channel. And then you are just going to save this and then restart the server. But before doing that, we have to edit one more file. So the next thing that we want to do is edit the osec.conf, and that will be over in a different location. Actually, so that should be it for now. Uh, so the next part that I was talking about was for the Slack integration. So let's go ahead and sudo uh, restart the service. I don't believe you have to do, do this every time. There is a time where the, this uh, configuration will get pushed out to the clients. Um, but I do believe, if I remember reading this correctly, this will force this push uh, immediately once it restarts. All right, so now that that is restarted, we should be able to go back to our dashboard or go back to our Windows agent. All right, so now that we are in our, our Windows agent, we are able to see the events that pop up. So let's go ahead, lock back into our Windows machine and test out the Windows Defender. So what I've been doing to test this out is download, downloading the eCar or eiCar file. Uh, for those that are not familiar with it, it is a just a, a um, application that is set up to test out vulnerability scanning um, so in this case, we are testing out Windows Defender. It should automatically detect this file because based on its signature or however that platform has got to set it up to monitor for these vulnerabilities, it will determine that this is a vulnerability and that will get reported. So let's go ahead and use wget with the dash o option to name it and then save it. And we should automatically see the threats found. And then if we head back over to the Wazoo platform and refresh. We should now see, we should now see event ID or rule ID 62123. So let's go back over to our dashboard. Let's create a new object to be on this dashboard. We'll do the same thing, data table, alerts. And then we wanna just filter for the rule ID again is and then six two one two three we are going to save and as you can see we already have two one was from my test and one is from right now so now that we have that in place we'll go back over here and we'll just name this and we'll say honestly we could leave this we'll save this and we'll just put it here uh, we'll say windows be good enough for the purpose of this lab so now we have user logon fail for windows admin and there's three 
you could have, have, have it set up how, however you want. And then obviously now we got the Windows Defender detection, which we just set up, and there's two. So just to show you how it works again, if I download that same file, once it gets quarantined and reported, and the event ID, I'm already getting that Slack notification because I already have it set up, but I will show that in a minute. If you refresh this, this should go up to three. And there we go. So now we know that this dashboard is monitoring those two events correctly. So the next thing that we want to do is now we want to set up our Slack integration so we can report back to our Slack team and notify the team that there is a detection within Windows Defender. So if we open up api.slack.com slash apps, it'll bring us here. Um, if you do not have an app, you will create a new app and you will go to from scratch and just name it whatever you want. You're going to select the workspace. In my case, I had set it up as test and then you'll create an app and that'll get you to here. Um, I'll just set up a new one actually so you can see how it works in the beginning. So we'll do test two, select that, create app. And then we're going to select incoming webhooks. And then from there, activate incoming webhooks. We obviously want to put that to on. Um, and then you're going to go down to add new webhook to workspace. Again, we're going to select test for the channel, hit allow. And now we have a um, webhook here that we could use and here's a way to test it. So if we go ahead and copy this and we paste it using, we paste it into our terminal or our server and send a curl, we'll get the hello world that we had We'll get the hello world that we had just sent via the curl message. And then if we go back to the webhook URL, this is what you are going to use. So make sure you keep note of this. Go back to your server. And the next thing that you want to do is you want to edit the osec.conf file. In this file, in this file, you will go down to. Let me fix this, just because it's ugly looking. All right, so once you are in that osec.com file, I just put it below the global, but you could put it anywhere that's within this uh, file. Make sure it's inside of the osec config parameter or tags, I guess you could say. Uh, and then here's the integration. So you're going to do name is Slack. Here's the hook URL. This is just an example. Uh, this needs to be in JSON for the Slack integration. It says it per their documentation. And then we are going to specify rule ID 62123. Now there's a few other optionals. You could put in the level, uh, the, the level of the, the alert. So let's say you want to report anything level three and above, which will be a lot of alerts or level 12 and above. All of that could be found in their documentation, but for the purpose of this lab, we are going to specifically look for this event. So anytime Windows Defender detects a vulnerability or a software that does not look right, it will report it to our Slack. And as it was shown before, as it was shown before, so let's go ahead, make sure you control C out of that, right quit, that's already done for me. And then again, you wanna make sure that you restart the server after you restart the server, let's go ahead and we run that again. Again, once it downloads it, and we get the notification, we'll see the Slack pop up. And as you can see here, we have the alert from Windows and it gives us the, the uh, information about the potentially unwanted software and the rule ID, which is level 12. And that's pretty much it. That's a lot of information. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so this is just a, a test Slack. So what we did today is we set up a custom dashboard to monitor two alerts. Obviously, this, this is all dependent on what you were looking at. Uh, this is just to give you an idea of what you can do. 
we are going to continue diving deep into this solution uh, as I believe it is super useful, especially being open source. Not only can you practice on it, but you could also implement this into a real world situation. So it's definitely worth your time. Uh, and then from there, after creating the custom dashboard um, and implementing the Windows Defender logs within this platform, we then set up the Slack integration, which is super easy and convenient and useful for you and your team. Uh, so that's going to close out today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, never stop learning.